Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, October 9th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Chicago, Illinois. Well, it's Microsoft Patch Tuesday, so let's take a look at uh, what Microsoft had to offer today. Overall, I would rate this as a pretty average uh, patch Tuesday as far as patch Tuesdays go. 59 vulnerabilities were addressed at this time, nine of which were critical. None of the vulnerabilities were publicly disclosed before this Tuesday or had been exploited according to Microsoft. Now, there are a couple sort of noteworthy vulnerabilities among this set. One, for example, in Asia that would allow a normal user running in a host in Asia to actually escape that particular host. So essentially a sandbox escape could also then turn into a remote code execution. We do have, and I think these vulnerabilities are actually always kind of interesting, and Renato is pointing this one out too, a vulnerability in Microsoft's XML core services. Now, the main exploit path here is of course in an explorer, but other software that uses Microsoft XML core services to parse XML could potentially be vulnerable here as well. So make sure how you're using this particular library essentially. Now, remote desktop service is in the news again here as well, but this time it's the client part, it's not the server part, and it would require that a user connects to a malicious server in order to run code on the client. So we're definitely not talking about another blue keep vulnerability here. Overall, no real sort of clear patch priority here other than the critical ones you probably wanna go after first. And like I mentioned, that XML one could be a little bit tricky depending on how you're using these XML core services. And then of course, it's always newsworthy that there's no news from Adobe. Adobe has not released any flash patches today, so you shouldn't expect any related updates for any Microsoft products either. And we also got an Android update. That's the normal monthly update from Google. It happens to fall on the same Tuesday this month as the Microsoft updates. And these updates most notably do close a vulnerability in, for example, the Pixel 1, 2, but also a number of other devices that was already exploited in the wild. I mentioned it on Monday. This was the privilege escalation vulnerability that allegedly had been used by the NSO group in some of the malware itself. In addition, we got patches again for the media framework, this time four vulnerabilities that are rated as critical on older versions of Android, meaning nine and earlier, and moderate on Android 10. Now, the fourth vulnerability only applies to Android 9 and is just an information disclosure, not a remote code execution like the other three vulnerabilities. And then we got an update for the bulletin, the forum software. Now, typically I don't cover every update for this software. What makes this sort of special is that we just recently had this remote code execution vulnerability that was essentially exploited the day we had details about the vulnerability before there was a patch available. Now, not a lot of details from the bulletin as to what is exactly being patched here, but but there appear to be three different vulnerabilities. The third one of which, CVE 2019-17271, does allow for the arbitrary execution of a PHP code, and apparently there is already some proof of concept code publicly available 
for this vulnerability. So given the impact we have seen from the last similar vulnerability, and you probably should expedite patching the bulletin if you're running your own instance. The other two vulnerabilities don't appear to be that critical, a click jacking vulnerability, and uh, then uh, something about how external URLs are being accessed from particular directories, not how I'm sure how this would exactly be exploitable. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.